Good morning all, Suburban Sentinel here coming to you from deep inside the Arabian Peninsula. Over the last few months, my wife and I have made some pretty drastic changes. We quit our careers, sold our home and our cars, sold or gave away 95% of our other personal possessions. We left our country, our friends, and our family. And I've got a bunch of PMs asking why, and I think that's a fair question. One of the main reasons we did all of this is that we expect a major upheaval in American society sooner rather than later. Now, there are all kinds of risks, both natural and man-made. And I certainly get that we could have a major hacking event that brings the grid down or an EMP or a huge hurricane or whatever. But in my opinion, one of the biggest risks we face in America is a financial collapse or calamity that triggers some sort of civil unrest or other major upheaval in our socioeconomic and or political systems. Now, I'm not an economic pundit. I'm not a financial advisor. I have nothing to do with the securities, investment, or financial planning industry. I've got nothing to sell. However, I am a student of history and one who cares about the financial well-being of my own household. And I'm also one who embraces the virtues of common sense. Our national debt is in excess of $17 trillion and rising. Plus, the U.S. government has $200 trillion in unfunded long-term obligations. Quite frankly, I see no practical manner in which we can pay this money back. Since the banking crisis of 2008, the Federal Reserve has been printing or more precisely willing trillions of dollars into existence which further devalues our currency. The gaps in income and wealth between rich and poor are growing to dangerous levels and we have a nearly unprecedented transfer of wealth from the population to a handful of people. Consumer costs are rising just as purchasing power is falling. All indications are that the dollar is well on its way to losing its reserve currency status. And many supposedly free markets are entirely rigged by bankers and other fraudsters. Historically, economic conditions such as these produce a predictable response pattern. First, there is call for economic reform via the political process, which is universally ignored by the elite. Later, there are protests in the street, which are also ignored until they turn violent. At that point, the elite use the instruments of force to try to put down the protests and if the protest or movement reaches a critical mass there can be real change through overthrow or other violent means. If history is a good indicator of what is in store for us in the near future the fragile elements of our society could fall like dominoes. We might expect chaos in the various markets such as securities and housing and energy. We might also expect interruption in the supply of goods and services. Extreme price volatility based on either deflation or runaway inflation. And perhaps worst of all, we might experience a war whether on illegitimate or contrived terms. Now, many people say that the American economy is in fact improving, that we have turned the corner and that better times are ahead. They say I'm paranoid that I should go into my bunker with the tinfoil hat 
and stop trying to spread panic. Now, quite frankly, I hope those people are right. I hope all of my fears are unfounded. I'd be very happy to be wrong in this situation. However, that is the world as I see it. In sum, my wife and I made all of these drastic life changes in part as a means of preparing for a severe economic, social, and political disruption in the United States. Thanks for watching. This is the Suburban Sentinel. Please thumbs up and subscribe if you like what you see. Questions, enlightening comments, and differing opinions are always welcome. Be safe, everybody.